Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Standing by principle, October 18. Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Psalms 119, 97. Let those who talk of principle as if they would not on any account depart from it be sure that they understand the principles laid down in the word of God for our guidance. There are some who follow false principles. Their idea of principle is misleading. Following right principle means the faithful doing of the first four and the last six commandments. In obedience to these divine commands, we eat the flesh and drink the blood of Christ, appropriating all that is embraced in the atonement made on Calvary. Christ will stand by the side of all who receive him as their Savior. To them he will give power to become the sons of God. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. John chapter 1 verse 14 the one here referred to as Word is the Son of God who was the commander in the heavenly courts who came to this world to open heavenly things to fallen human beings. He is the way, the truth and the life. He is the Word that was with God before the world was. In clothing his divinity with humanity, he became possessed of two natures, the divine and the human. And because of this, he was fully able to accomplish for the human race their complete redemption and their restoration to the privileges of the higher life. He began his earthly life as human beings begin theirs, coming to this world as a helpless babe. And while here, he lived a life that every human being may live who will receive the great gift that the Lord made to our world in sending his Son to work out the plan of salvation. Christ bore the penalty of sin, the stroke of divine justice, that human beings might not be left to perish. He bore in his body the sentence pronounced against sinners. This is the science of salvation which can safely be reached into and which it is profitable to strive to understand. Those who continue in transgression will be judged according to their refusal of right. They choose to stand on the side of the prince of darkness to become the helping hand of him who, if it were possible, would deceive the very elect. They refuse the wonderful gift of heaven, and though they may profess righteousness and talk of adherence to principle, they are at the same time following principles opposed to the noble principles of heaven, and they teach others to follow the same corrupting principles.